Okay, so it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. I've been really busy. Uh, this is a uh, Antoninanus. Um, it was struck in 250 AD. It weighs 4.2 grams. They normally weigh around 6 grams with a value of 2 denarius. This one particular example is 21.2 millimeter by 20.1 millimeter. It has a thickness of what about 1.8 millimeter. Like most Roman coins, it has a zero degree diaxis. Um, on the obverse, it is um, Decius um, Trajan, uh, draped and crazed, bust facing right. Decius took his name from the last great Roman emperor, Trajan. Um, who was very popular in the Balkan states. Um, he died there in uh, 251, I believe it was, um, in the Battle of Abritus, which is modern day Bulgaria. Uh, so, yeah, he was the emperor for two years, um, quite a short time. And on the reverse, we have a Bundantia standing facing right, holding a cornucopia. With both hands pulling, pouring out. The effigy is quite clear on this one. Abuntia is recognised in ancient Roman religion as the divine pers personification of abundance and prosperity. Uh, the cornucopia horn of plenty is um, has many uh, stories behind its being. One being when Zeus was a baby, he was hidden in Mount Ida in Crete from his father. And the nourishing goddess Amalthea uh, was playing around with him and everything. And one of her horns broke off and then it gave the power of unending nourishment. Uh, there was also one where Hercules was wrestling... Um, Anchilo, Anchilos, uh, a river god, I can't pronounce the name too well, and he tore off one of his horns during the wrestling. It is considered a, um, a scarce-ish coin, uh, apparently. I'm not too sure about that though. Thanks for watching.